Next, I'll cover some examples of adding and subtracting fractions. So the first example is one quarter plus two thirds. And so the usual technique is to find a common multiple for the denominators. And often the least common multiple will be quite effective. So the least common multiple of four and three is 12. So we need to make equivalent fractions that will have a denominator of 12. So the way we can do that is to multiply one quarter by three over three. So notice what we're doing there, which is multiplying a fraction by one. So we're not changing its value, but it will allow us to express that fraction using 12 as the denominator. And then we'll do something similar for two thirds, but we'll multiply two thirds by four over four. And again, all we're doing is multiplying the fraction by, by one, so we're not changing its value. Okay, so one quarter times three over three, multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. Same thing for two thirds times four over four. And now we've got the, ex the fractions expressed using a common denominator. And so that allows us to simply add the numerators now. So 11, twelfths is the answer. Okay, uh, same, same kind of idea if we're subtracting fractions. So 6 over 13 minus 2 fifths, the least common multiple of 13 and 5 is 65. So let's convert 6 thirteenths by multiplying by 5 over 5. And then let's find uh, an equivalent fraction to two fifths by multiplying by 13 over 13. Okay, so now we have six thirteenths over, six thirteenths times five over five. So that comes to 30 over 65. And two fifths times 13 over 13, that comes to 26 over 65. So we've got common denominators now and we can simply subtract the numerators. So the answer is four over 65. Okay. So the technique we're using here is finding the least common multiple of the, of the denominators, but sometimes you can actually get to the answer a little more quickly just by kind of looking carefully at what you're doing. So I'm gonna solve this problem two different ways using two different denominators. Uh, the first method, I'll just use least common multiple. Okay, so the least common multiple of eight and 100 is 200. Okay, so write down the six over eight again. Multiply by 25 over 25. And then 25 over 100. If we multiply that by two over two, we'll get 200 is the denominator there as well. Okay, so that gives us, let's see, six times 25 is 150. Eight times 25 is 200. And then 25 times two is 50. And 100 times two is 200. So we've got common denominators and I can simply subtract 150 minus 50 to get 100 over 
200. And of course you wouldn't stop there because we can simplify this. 100 divided by 200 is the same as one divided by two. So the answer is a half. But could we have got to that answer a little more quickly just by maybe using a different denominator? Okay, so how about the denominator four? Okay, which might look a little bit odd. Four is a number that's less than eight and less than 100, but four is actually gonna work quite well here. So, if I want to express six eighths using four as the denominator, well, to get to four from eight, I divide by two. So if I divide six by two, I'll get three. So six eighths is equivalent to three quarters. And then what about this one? 25 over 100, what is that if we express it as something over four? Or 25 over 100, it's, it's the same as one quarter. Okay, so three quarters minus one quarter. So two quarters. So the answer is a half. So see how we got there a lot more quickly than when we used the least common multiple. And that was just by kind of looking carefully at what we were doing and we were able to go a little quicker in the calculation. The quicker you can go in the calculation, the less chance you have of making any, any silly mistakes too. Okay, so that brings us to the questions for this video. So there's two questions. So the first question goes back to the first part of the video where we talked about adding and subtracting integers using the chef story. And so the question is, what is the equation represented by adding three hot cubes and removing two cold cubes? Okay, so that's question one. What is the equation represented by adding three hot cubes and removing two cold cubes? And I'm asking for an equation here so I'm looking for the answer as well. Okay, so make sure that uh, your answer is in the form something equals and then what the temperature change is. Okay, that's question one. Question two is using the ideas from part three, which was where we were adding and subtracting fractions. And the question is, solve the fraction problem 21 over 45 plus two over five using two different common denominators. Okay, one of them can be the, the least common multiple, uh, but the other one should be a different common denominator and it'll actually allow you to get to the answer more quickly. Okay, so Second question is solve 21 over 45 plus two over five using two different common denominators.